Hello, this is Brett from Survival Comms. You know, one of the most common tasks for the radio technician is making and repairing RF cables and RF connections. Now, I do keep a few common connectors and termination tools in my tool pack for quick repairs, but today I'm going to show you how I organize my bulk stock of 50 ohm RF connectors and tools in a grab and go fashion. Now, to the individual ham operator, this is likely to be seen as over the top, but for a club, group, or professional user, you may find this to be a valid consideration. Now the container I am using may be familiar to those of us of a certain age when boxes like this were much more common than they are today. This is a Plano 747M medical box which differs from the 747 fishing tackle box only by color and the Star of Life logo on the front of it. The advantage of this box is ease of access to these drawers here for organization, use, and inventory of the contents without having to open up the entire box. The box does a good job of protecting the contents and is fairly rugged as this box is over 30 years old and still remains serviceable. There are many modern equivalents to this box which will give excellent and perhaps even better service and use and organization. Now my use of this box is for sentimental reasons and my intention in this content isn't to sell you on the box itself, but rather the concept of transportable organization to increase your efficiency and capability. Searching for what you need to mill the night in a bomb of a bucket where it might be, for lack of a better term, sucks. So let's open this up and give you a quick look inside. So I've already shown you the front where you open it up. Now you can use the drawers like I showed you before to organize all the contents, your connectors, and whatever items you happen to have in here. To open the entire box up on one of these, it's important that you pull this out first because you can see these tabs here. And these, this will keep this lid contained so you can pick the box up and move it around even if these latches on the side here are undone. Now what we do is, is we open up the box just like our regular tackle box here and we can see what we have. It was raining outside, so we'll go over the contents indoors. Up in this top slot here, I have my crimping and cutting tools. Here I have my strippers and cleaning tools. These are 58-195 size PL259s and BNC connectors for 58-195. The second drawer down here, we have RG223 cables, and these are for RG8X LMR240. This is overstock, RG174. And this is RG58 Mini UHFs, Type N, and TNC connectors here. And down here in the bottom drawer, this is for our LMR 400 9913 size cables. This is heat shrink, wire ties, strain reliefs, spare parts here. We've got some RF connector caps, and these are some BNC connectors for RG6 quad shield cable that I happen to have. And down here in the bottom, we have a rather large compartment for bulk supplies. This is overstock BNC connectors, overstock of PL259s. I've got some LDF450A connectors down here, and I have my roto prep tool for my LDF450A here. I have another stripping tool here, and I have enough cable in here to build jumpers. This is LMR400. I have some 58 and 223 in here if I need to make some jumpers. Uh, well, I hope this gives you some food for thought about getting organized with your equipment and supplies. I hope this helps. This is Brett from Survival Comms. Till next time.